All right, Kryptonaut. So I have this uh, rig here. I only got three cards on it, but two are AMD 6600 XT. One is a 3060 Ti NVIDIA card. I was uh, running them on MB Miner using MSI Afterburner to do the overclocks on the NVIDIA and 6600 XT cards. No problem. All, all good and all worked fine. But then I wanted to try the T-Rex Miner, the uh, absolute lock core clock setting to see how it would affect the uh, 3060 Ti, see if it improved the wattage, let you know, use less wattage and maybe keep the hash rate the same or make it better, you never know. But then I'm thinking, oh crap, T-Rex doesn't support really the, uh, the um, AMD cards. So what do you do? So basically you can run the two different miners on the same rig just by specifying the device ID, the device position in the uh, in the actual miner batch file. So right up here I have the T-Rex miner running, 3060 Ti, and down here is the MB miner. So how do you do that? I'm sure most of you already know, but I always forget, so it's uh, video time. Video time, I can uh, chronolog it, save it for future generations. All right, Notepad. Notepad++ is your friend. This is T-Rex. So what I always do, just, you know, obviously read the read the README, because in the README has all the arguments you can do and options. I always do a dash dash devices info, and when you do that, it echoes out all the devices on the machine, their position like zero, 01. If there's two cards... It'll be zero, 01, always starting at zero. I know, that's, that's software for you. Everything starts at zero. Uh, let's see. So what I did here is uh, T-Rex devices info. So what you can do, if you want to see how to do that, all right, let's just, let's just go here. Bookmark it. I always bookmark my directory. Here it is up here. What you can do is uh, click in the location bar in the finder, explorer, and type CM. Type CMD for command. Commando. There we go. And then you go back over here to your uh, favorite notepad. You can just copy and paste this. Copy. And then go over here. Right click. And it just, it just kablams it in there for you and runs it. And then what you see is GPZ, uh, GPU0. And it gives you the label of the card. There you go. So you know that one's there. That is the only one it recognizes, even though there is two other cards on here. It only recognizes the NVIDIA card. All right, all cute, right? Good, good and all. Let's go to uh, NB Miner. Okay. Let's go to CMD. I do prefer Win uh, Linux. <laughs> I just think I can more... I get around faster in Linux than I can in Windows. All right, same old steel. They have a uh, device info. Not quite the exact same, but same concept. Uh, copy, 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 copy. Let's go over here to the MB Miner. Right click, Kablamo. It runs it automatically. So MB Miner is a little bit better in that it recognizes all three cards. Zero, one, two. One and two are my 6600 XT. So that is the that is the power of device info. Most miners have it. It's your friend. So zero one two zero is my NVIDIA. So I know that. So what do I do? Let's go over to my uh, T-Rex miner ETH hash script. All I do is right here. See that delta zero D zero? That says for this batch file, all the following settings all the following settings only affect GPU zero at location zero. If you only had one GPU on here and it's always going to be zero, you don't even need to put that. Or if you want to affect all the cards, you just don't put anything. Uh, yeah, it will not affect them. So I could actually probably just leave that off here, but I just figured I'd make it granular and say, I want to specifically only affect device zero because it's only going to recognize NVIDIA cards anyway. So, you know, this might be moot in that aspect, but I leave it on just for clarity. So when I come back to look at it a day later, I forgot what I was doing. I'll say, oh, this affects the NVIDIA card. Okay. Makes sense. 
So D0, and I have the fan, I always crank them. Memory clock is 1500, is a sweet spot. I found on the 3060 Ti, you guys may have different settings. There is my lock, absolute core clock, uh, 1400. All right, basically the key here is a Delta Zero, and now it'll run against that device. For the, for the NB Miner, same concept. This is where you will need to put the device info. So right here, Delta 1 and 2. Remember, Delta 1 and 2 were right here. Da, 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 6600 XT. Delta 1 and 2. If I didn't put anything here, it's going to try to also run the NVIDIA card, uh, position zero. So this is telling MB Miner, anything in this file, when I run this batch file, you're only going to run against those devices at those locations, one and two. All right, let's go to the end of this file. And that is the end of the file. And what you have to do is with MB Miner, since you cannot put in line overclock settings in the batch file, you will then have to go up to uh, MSI Afterburner right there so even though this guy sees msi afterburner sees the 3060 ti i don't care i'm not going to muck with it it does see my two 6600s and those are my overclock settings which it likes and that's all you do you have to do that to tune that puppy to tune the 6600 so again we have a whole hodgepodge a whole melting pot here of msi afterburner working with nb minor and then we have T-Rex minor working standalone against the 3060 Ti. So what do we get? We have 44.45 mega hashers on ETH hash. LHR 75 was auto-tuned. Whoops. Auto-tuned. I did not set it. I let T-Rex minor figure it out. It worked its way out. It worked its way through it and found the best tuning for it. Uh, let's see the power. Eh, power went up a little bit. Not much. But what's really interesting is the hash rate went up by 4.5, which is odd. And I had the same clock settings on NB Miner using the MSI Afterburner. And the only difference here is I'm running T-Rex Miner, same memory clock setting, and with the uh, core lock. Yeah. <laughs> So there's that, that's running. So, I mean, the test I expected to see, the results were lower wattage and maybe a less or the same mega hash. So but what I ended up getting was more mega hash <laughs> and more uh, power usage. So, but not much. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. I'd rather get out of this five, four to five different uh, increased mega hash for that. It's great. Did I say megawatts? Uh, mega megawatts it blew the house apart jeez all right uh mega hash so that's that i'm going to keep it that way it's just funny how that core lock core clock thing works and how it i don't know it just it just seems to affect the lh card different cards differently obviously uh it loves the 1660 supers oh my god it really it really makes those things efficient that's the card it loves. The, uh, the, even the 3080 Ti's, I got really some more hash out of it and a little bit less power. So I guess, yeah, it depends on the card. All right, for NB Miner, where are you, NB Miner? NB Miner is down here running happy. I love these 6600 cards. Why do I love these 6600 cards? Um, why do I answer my own questions? Well, let's see. 32.04 hash rate, and look, there's barely any power, 68, 65, versus what we saw up here, where you're getting 32, let's say, uh, 10, 12 more hashes at, oh my god, double the power. So, uh, I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm, I'm an idiot, so I'm thinking 32 at that little bit of power is very efficient to me. Versus if I doubled that power, you'd think I'd get, obviously, 64, but no, I'm only getting 44. So it's almost like the 3060 Ti LHR is not as efficient as these 6600s. And I don't know, I've, when I started mining, people weren't really into these AMD cards. I don't know, I was looking, listening to the wrong people. But now I'm thinking, I'm, I'm swapping up, I'm swapping up. I'm trying to buy as many or... Uh, 6600 6, as I can. I love the Red Devils. I'll show you that again. That thing's awesome the way it lights up. And, you know, it's kind of waste electricity to light them up. But it looks cool, right? 
Uh, I've been buying those up. At, if I can get them at MSRP, I'm not paying more than 600 bucks for a 6600 because you can get them at, oh my God, eBay and that, 900 bucks. Uh, even the offers, the not from Amazon, but the Amazon, other merchants, you go other offerings, other opportunity, whatever, other possibilities to buy this car. I mean, 900 bucks. It's like, that's too much money. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. What are you doing? All right. So I do like the 6600s. I have three together. I have two Red Devils and a Hellhound. And I've got another Red Devil coming. I scored uh, off, uh, off a little stock alert thing I made. I, I have a little thing that goes out and says, hey, something's in stock. Quick, click on it. And I get a, I get a little notice in my um, uh, what, Telegram. And I click on the link I made. And it goes right to the product. And sometimes I get it. New egg, I click on it. I get it at that MSRP price. It's pretty cool. And I've been, I'll, I'll post that in my Discord. So I put the Discord thing. If you have any trouble getting into Discord, it's free. I'm just starting to throw it together. You can actually go and get these uh, GPU in stock alerts. And then you get the link and click on it real quick. You know, you can click on it. And maybe you'll get it. Maybe you won't because, you know, stuff like the Playstations and Xboxes, they go quick. You know, you might be able to score one by clicking the link. But GPUs, now you might be able to click the link when you get the notice or monitor it and they might be in stock at a reasonable price. Don't pay more than the MSRP and you can tell anything over like 600 bucks, you're wondering is this, no, it's too much money. So you kinda gotta know it going in there, what is the MSRP and then you can get it. So I post that through the Discord. I might have that, hold on. This is my eBay price tracker. I kinda go out with eBay and I find out what are, what are currently, what are, what are things currently selling at like uh, here's a 3090, and here on eBay, this is kind of the prices they've been selling at. 31. These are the, recent, the most recent ones for December 10th, and then I do a scatter chart as well to show you where the most of the buys have been. There's some outliers, obviously. There's another scatter plot, and all uh, for the in-stock alerts. What I do is I just enter, here's my Discord, and uh, it's. Right there, Rocco Taco. I think I posted. Yeah, it's in the uh, description below. And what I do as I get stuff through my little my little thing I run, it monitors uh, certain GPUs, and it'll I'll put the link here, and it'll say, oh, it came in, and you just got to go nail on it. Like here was a new egg one. Let's see, new egg. Let's see what happens. Oh, there, that's a CPU. Oh my God. I don't know if that's good or bad for that price. Fifty nine hundred. Eh, might be still a little bit, fifty bucks too high. I don't know. Who knows. All right, and uh, what's in another reason? Here's a good one that came in a uh, 3080 V2, but it's an LHR. Click on that. Kablamo. Oh, see, it's gone. When you don't see a price, that means the offer is gone from Amazon, so the, the sweet price is not there. If you go to see all buying options, these are the hefty prices. Holy crap, I'm not paying that. That's ridiculous. All right, forget that. Let's go back. Where are we? We are going back. Five. There we go. Anyway, that was a little side note. If you want to get GPUs, I like the uh, 6600s. I have my little monitor script out there, and it's dumping it all to Discord. So go check it out. All right. All right. So I love the 6600s. They're running MB minor. I got my 3060 Ti, which, remember, I saved from eBay. I could have probably got 900000 bucks for a $600 card. I decided just to put it in my rig. Because someone tried to scam me when they bought it. I said, I'm done. I'm not messing with this crap. Uh, so that's running T-Rex Miner. Getting more hash and juicing out a little more power. So efficiency. Eh, efficiency, I got more hash, but I'm using a little bit more wattage. Whereas, you know, like I said, these 6600s use less wattage and get decent hash rates. Heat decent hash rate for what they are. So there you go. That's how you do it. Look at your, da your dash devices. Read your readme. That's why they're RTFM. Read the manual. Uh, look at the devices thing. Your devices info will tell you which devices you can set in the batch script. And then you can just uh, run multiple miners, multiple software miners on your rig if you want to mix and match. No problem, right? There you go. Hope this helps. Help me because uh, I just do it and say, hey, it works. I'm happy. Boom. Ship it. <laughs> All right. I'm out. Bye.